something. You have got to be a cold blooded person to boot a Nissan Ultima on Thanksgiving evening at a freaking Walmart when somebody's out there shopping for groceries. Damn, you're cold blooded. I don't know who did that, but that was cold blooded. That was cold blooded. The Nissan Ultima is the official car of the cheating girlfriend. You'll really see this on Instagram later, but apparently Nicki Minaj is giving out turkeys to people right here at 147 and Baisley. So they've got this entire freaking street locked down. But um, I don't really see her, but they got this entire area locked down. You can see all the police presence. And uh, she's giving out turkeys apparently. So yeah, I'm just I'm holding my camera really crazy so this way they can't see me. So Nicki Minaj is apparently over here giving out turkeys. <sighs> well, it's a whole lot of goddamn police presence, you know, to hand out some freaking turkeys. Maybe they should have had somebody less popular do it, like um, like six nine or something. Considering they're planning to start Black Friday sales, mind you, the word is Friday, on Thanksgiving Thursday at 2 p.m. while people, you know, should be with their families, you know, enjoying each other and, uh, you know, arguing politics and everything and eating. They're starting these things at 2 p.m. in the day, and they want people there at 2 p.m. to start shopping. And that's not just J.C. Penney's. That's a bunch of other stores. So uh, basically, I had kind of highlighted a number of things that I planned on buying. And um, one of the videos that I made a little while ago talked about how... Um, 70 inch televisions it's like those things are going for damn near nothing um right here you'll also notice that the xbox one x is being sold at this point for 400 dollars, which i'll get back to in a second because kohl's also is selling the xbox one x but they're selling it with PUBG bundled in that box for the same 399 so you if, if you don't buy it from jc pennies but you go to kohl's instead because kohl's i guess to try and get people to go there you can get the uh, xbox one x if you don't already have it for 400 dollars. but you also get PUBG too now i was amazed that uh bj's had sales on 70 inch televisions and uh right here you can see the target has uh, 70 inch Vizio, which one of the ones that I, uh, I like their models because I've bought Vizio a couple of times and I've had nothing but, um, you know, pleasure using their, com their televisions, but, um, I haven't had any problems with them. 70 inches now save $300 and it's down to 749, which I think is like absolutely amazing. And uh, LG has been right behind them because LG is selling a 70 inch for about um, eight fifty, while they're selling a 75 inch for I think it's 950. And then there's a bunch of other stores trying to have sales get rid of these damn Galaxy phones. Now I want you to notice something. They give you the Galaxy Nine. They give you that for free because they just want to get them out of there. Meanwhile. If you want to get one of these uh, iPhone X's, which is old tech, they'll give you that one for free. But if you want one of these iPhone XR's, you're going to pay for that shit. And the uh, obviously the Apple Watches are still, you know, 400 to $500. BJ's page. BJ's Black Friday deals start at um, Friday, November 23rd through Monday, which is Cyber Monday, November 26th. So, as you can see, 55, 50-inch 50 televisions, that, that's like nothing anymore. They're giving those away for $400. So, basically, as you can see, China, Shenzhen, China, they must be shitting televisions. I mean, literally shitting them. They must have eaten a lot of prune juice, and they're shitting out 70-inch televisions and 50-inch televisions. It's amazing. But um, this was the other circular. And uh, in this one, you can see, um, okay, they have the 75. Five, where is it? The sit no, the seventy and the seventy-five is right here. On the uh, fourth page, this is the LG models. These are all four K televisions, even the seventy-inch Vizio from Target, which was seven forty-nine, and uh, they have the eight hundred and sixty-nine dollars seventy-inch four K UHD television at BJ's. But they also have, where is it? 
they also have, and it's amazing because it's kind of like they're hiding it. It's like, why would you put it at the bottom of the page? It may be a different series. That's probably why they did it. 75-inch television, $949. So my guess is by this time next year, 80-inch televisions might crack $1,500, possibly even crack the $1,000 barrier. I don't know. But um, I found that really incredible because at first I was considering uh, buying one of these two televisions. But then I saw Target had the Vizio one for 70 inches that was only uh 749 i thought that was pretty amazing um and i also wanted i have to well i'm gonna buy a new television for my new house but one of the other things i gotta buy is i gotta buy one of these mounting brackets so i'm thinking i gotta probably see it in person to see which one makes more sense i don't know if it makes more sense to get the one that swivels or if it makes more sense to get the one that tilts so um yeah, they're, I mean, they're, it's amazing if, how much of this shit they're trying to get rid of. It's absolutely amazing. There's, what's odd is there's really not very good sales on furniture. I personally need a new sofa, love seat, and chair because I like having, you know, a matching chair. So I like having the sofa, love seat, chair package. But um, I noticed there's really not a lot of, uh, there's really not a lot of furniture sales. And that's a little bit annoying. And another thing I also noticed, Keurig, they gave up putting LCD screens. Like, I have a Keurig K200, and I've noticed that they've given up putting the LCD screens on it. And if I wanted to get another K200 that had the LCD screen, I would actually have to go to eBay and buy it. Because uh, none of the stores, I, I've noticed, even the most expensive Keurigs, they took the LCD screens out. And I kind of like having the LCD screen because it helps you know what the computer's doing. Like, uh, this way at a glance when you look at it. So anyway, this is JC Penney's. Um, I've already got my pots. I've got my uh, plates. I've already got my uh, what is it called? Um, I've got pots, pans, plates. Eventually, I'm gonna probably get a baking set because you know I know how to bake and everything. Like I used to make YouTube videos about baking, but what I'm gonna have to do is I gotta get like a tripod or something to hold my iPhone, so that this way I can make those videos in 4K. But you know I don't have to zoom in as close. So this will have something to hold it. But anyway, um, I'm definitely going to buy a standard coffee pot. I definitely also want to get a Keurig, but I'm probably going to end up getting it off of eBay because I want another K200 model. And I was considering getting this. Um, they have a Madeline sofa, $279, but you're going to pay $379. Plus, it's like $100 or $150 for delivery. But after you get $100 back, it's $279. So basically, you're paying $379 plus $150, but then you get $100 back with the mail-in rebate. And um, this was, I was thinking about getting this for the basement, because I have like a nice spacious basement, and I was going to set up all my retro games, because I have a 32-inch old television. Oh, uh, they, they got a lot of stuff. They got it stretched out across stores. So one of the other things I'll show... Coles, Coles that everybody's trying to sell these ten dollar appliances. Yeah, that's really nice. But um, Coles, I mentioned to you that Coles has a uh, the Xbox One X with PUBG in it. Everybody seems to be selling televisions dirt cheap, fifty inches for less than four hundred dollars. So that's like a common theme. But um, they have this Xbox One X one terabyte model and it comes with uh, player unknown battlegrounds and it's only 399 but every other store that i've seen it they are selling it for 399 but it doesn't come with a game so i thought that was pretty interesting too and then they also have these retro consoles and everything which i think are crap because they they don't have the games that i want and i have i've kept all of my classic games and everything so it's like um you know why would I buy something like that? And, you know, it's sad that Toys R Us has gone under. But then again, when you really think about it, there's so many other stores that sell toys. And these kids now have, like, cell phones, smartphones, and they have such advanced stuff now that they don't really care about toys anymore. Which is basically what killed Toys R Us off. Yeah, so they got these nine ninety nine appliances, but really you pay, like, $22 plus tax. And then uh, once they... Um, 
give you a rebate for like 14 or $12 or whatever, you end up getting these appliances for $9.99. You end up getting these right here for $4.99. So basically, I'm thinking about going out shopping later today. I really doubt that people are going to be rushing into these stores to buy $1,000 televisions and buy... Um, <clears throat> and buy uh, $10 coffee pots. I really doubt it. Most people already have stuff like that. But because I'm furnishing a new place and I'm getting all brand new stuff, it's like, you know, this is it's actually a great time to be doing it. The one thing that I didn't see was um, sales on the Samsung microwave because I bought a whole Samsung suite, a washer, dryer, and a refrigerator, and all that stuff comes on December 1st to my new house. And uh, I wanted a Samsung uh, microwave. And, um, you know, I saw things like, you know, these pot sets, these cooking sets. I already bought a knife block. I got that from Walmart. And I also got a spice rack from Walmart. Like, I, I like shopping at Walmart because a lot of the stuff they have, I actually, I like a lot of the stuff they have. I'm not trying to, you know, pay outrageous prices for this shit. Like, I'm not Martha Stewart or something. But, um, you know, I like having, like, basics and everything. But, um, yeah, I mean, you know, Black Friday looks like it's uh, shaping up pretty well. They're claiming that they're supposed to see over a trillion dollars in spending. And I'm guessing most of that's going to be people getting big screen televisions or appliances or whatever. But uh, that's what they were saying. And I think another reason why there's going to be so much uh, consumer spending is because if you really think about it, we've had nothing but natural disasters all year long. California, parts of that place burned down. Got Florida washed out. Uh, Atlanta, Georgia, areas over there washed out. And uh, I think something happened in Texas, but I honestly don't remember. We've had so many natural disasters that I'm pretty sure, you know, a lot of people are going to go have to go shopping, some of them with insurance money, just so that they can replace a lot of the things that they've lost. So, um, you know, that, that pretty much goes without saying that there's going to be a lot of consumer spending. But... Um, there's, you know, there's a lot of sales and everything. It, I just think the sad thing about this is that all of this shit is coming from fucking China. It's like, if American companies were making half the shit that we're selling on Black Friday, the American economy would be doing really, really well when people are going shopping for all this stuff. Instead, you're sending damn near a third of this country's money over to freaking China. And that should have told you something a long time ago. That, uh, yeah, the reason why we have so much trouble getting and holding jobs that are high-paying jobs is simply because the majority of our money is going to fucking China, you know, and that's not good. I mean, you can't look at that and say that's good. I mean, all of this shit is made in freaking China. And the sad thing is, you really don't have much of a choice where you buy from and who it benefits because of this uh, global market system. Walmart had these, uh, what is it, these arcade games and stuff, so that's kind of cool if you're a kid, but these, these games are so quote-unquote retro until most kids don't want to look at that shit. They want you to buy them Red Dead Redemption 2 or something like that. They don't want, like, you know, Pac-Man and stuff like that. I, you know, if and these arcade cabinets, I've seen these at Walmart. They are roughly about the same height as this uh, computer desk right here. They're roughly about that same height. They're only about maybe three or four feet tall. So it's not like you're getting a full arcade cabinet. Now, if you're good with woodworking, you could probably add like a box or something onto the bottom and you could shift this whole thing up. In fact, if you're really good with woodworking, you could probably w rework most of this entire cabinet. You can make this thing taller. But um, as it is, it's sold. These things are like the, the height to this point is only about like three feet high. So... You know, those things are only really good for kids. A lot of computers, a lot of cell phones and all this stuff. Roku's are trying to give this shit away. Nobody's buying this stuff right now. But, um, yeah, I mean, Black Friday is looking pretty good. I don't know if you guys seen any sales, anything you want to buy or whatever. But, um, you know, I've, you know, there's some pretty, uh, there's some pretty decent sales on some pretty decent stuff. This, this was something else I was looking at. Um, they have a wireless charging lamp right here. And this is, um, what is it, $13. And I think I might just get that because that's at Walmart. I might just get that because I don't have a wireless charging pad. And the other, you know, the problem is my um, iPhone wire. This is my iPhone wire right here. It's all fucked up. It's all shredded up because, like, like you look at this. I've been using this wire for a while. And it gets all messed up because, you know, 
when you use the phone while you're in bed, it's like you're twisting it and you're pulling it. And that causes it to like get shredded and all that. But if I had one of these wireless charging lamps, you know, next to my nightstand, I wouldn't have to do that. So that's actually something worth looking at right there because this way I'll be able to charge my phone without the wire and I'm just leaving it laying flat and it'll charge during the night. So I thought that was kind of cool. And I'm, yeah, in fact, let me hold on to this one because I was looking for this. I didn't know exactly which door I had. And uh, yeah, so basically, that's Black Friday. This is what Black Friday is looking like. So basically, I'm going to probably, if anything interesting happens, like if there's any fights breaking out in the stores or anything, I'm damn sure going to probably go live just so, you know, after you watch it and have your fun clicking the like button, I can give it to the police for evidence. So, um, this is Black Friday. And it's like they got the, it's like they're pushing, you know, this right here I was actually looking at. I think I want to get this. It's a $9, um, baking set and it comes with all of the baking, uh, measurements and it comes with the mixing pans and all that. That's something I don't have. And, um, you know, so Walmart has at least two things that I definitely want to get. But J.C. Penney's has a couple of others, so um, I'll probably get all my appliances, whatever appliances I do choose to get, I'll get them from Walmart. And the reason why is because if I get it from Walmart, I'm not going to pay tax on them. That's good. So I save a couple of dollars there. So basically, for right now, that's it. So I, I think I'll make another part of this video once I actually go shopping. Maybe I'll even go live. So we'll see what happens.